Hi guys, my name is Richard Giles, Sherwin Williams Aerospace Technical Service and Training Manager. I'm here at our training facility in Andover, Kansas. We're going to be talking about the age 180 now. We assume that this aircraft has been flying, the paint finish is mature. It's in an MRO, it could have a scratch, it could have some type of damage, um, a fastener for example, off a body fairing. The problem and the challenge for us as a refinisher is to polish an aged A5180. So it, it's a real puzzle. Um, the technique we're, we're going to be using today alleviates a lot of that with a, a, a masking technique which uses soft face. In, in this case, we're using a J-tape. Uh, you need a, a, a soft face roll to actually limit the amount of ingress into the, the non-sanded area. So with this technique, and again, it's, it's very important on the masking side, that we offer a step system where we're minimizing the repair real estate and also the buffability. For this uh, particular instance, we're going to be cleaning with the, uh, the CMO 110-158, uh, preparing the area for painting and getting it all nice and clean. Any repair you do is reflective of, of the preparation itself. In this instance, uh, it's P320, you can use red scotch bike, which is around the same tooth, tooth height. Uh, this is to deglaze the clear completely. Uh, following that, of course, we're now going to clean the area and then we're going to start masking. Um, this is a soft face uh, process, and again, it's to limit the amount of ingress to the non-sanded clear. So let's, uh, let's clean first of all. So we'll let this uh, evaporate for a few seconds, make sure the, the area is dry, and then we're going to start our masking sequence. So again, we're going to use a soft face uh, material today. And the idea is, to, uh, certainly on GAs, there may not be a scene, there may not be some localized area you, that, that you can break line. Um, in many cases, it's easier to actually sand to a seam and re-clear. But where there's no area, possibly the environment isn't uh, painter friendly. It could be an MRO shop where you're doing a very small area. This can be to scale, any scale, but the principle is to repair an age clear with a, a very acceptable um, uh, finish and result around the edge of the, of, the, uh, of the area. So this is, again, it's called J-Tape. It's a soft face uh, material. And uh, I'll take my gloves off here. And you actually need two layers of this, uh, plus masking tape. So, although it's, it seems a little bit um, uh, time consuming, it, it, it's actually very fast. The results are very good. It prevents a larger area being painted a lot of the time, which again can create its own issues and concerns. So we're very much going to cut this to the size, approximate size of the, of the repair. It's a, an adhesive backing. Now this is the, I, I guess, the secret to this. If you can see that there is a sticky tape within two shoulders, which are non-adhesive, this shoulder here, the non-adhesive sh shoulder, has to fit within the space of the abraded area. So if we look at where we are here, this slots over the abraded area. So if you look at this, you can see that where the soft face is actually on the abraded area. So this goes flush one against the other. So now what we simply do is we mask up this would be, for example, a body fairing, a section of body fairing. Could be an engine to cell, a, a fuselage section. We'll just mask around it and then use a, a paper mask exposing this sort of framework of soft face. Okay, and finally, on this soft face, the, the actual non-adhesive the non collar here 
isn't quite wide enough, it needs to be extended. This is used for swage lines and door shuts, etc. in automotive. But we found a good use for this. What we need to do is, ex is, is actually very softly put this over the soft face where the clear coat is going to flutter into this without actually touching the soft face. What we're going to do now using the full strength clear is to actually paint the exposed area. Then we're going to demask exposing the raw edge from the soft face and we're going to use um, a detail gun, almost an airbrush. And we're going to just fine pencil line where the abraded area is. And that minimizes touching the non-abraded clear. So you can see we've finished off the masking, we've exposed the envelope here with the, the soft face, actually two soft face materials. And we'll just finish wrapping this, uh, this secondary masking paper. And this is purely um, to stop any, any overspray, any ingress, any, uh, it could be a window like for example. So prevention is far better than cure. So there we are ready to um, uh, attack our repair. I'm um, going to be using this re a small repair gun because of the, the scale and very often on aerospace repairs are delicate and they are small. But they're so important, it could be a very, very important area. Okay, so on the age repair that we did, you saw the innovative masking and back masking that we did to achieve this envelope of, of, of clear. What we've got here, we've got, and it's very important on repairs, to try and retain in the body of the repair the same profile as the surrounding area. We're going to do some more innovative masking. We're going to sand denib the body of the clear, the fresh clear. Then we're going to demask to the outer layer of the masking tape. And with this very fine, we can do this by hand. This is the uh, a feathered wet edge to the, to the 320 tooth that we, we sanded yesterday. We can um, uh, repair this by hand to protect the, this very fine edge. Uh, we're using today, we're using a three step. We may not need the three step, but we'll start with one, two, and three. Uh, using, uh, uh, for the sanding at least, uh, wet on the 3000, 5000. You can use wet and dry material, you can use this type of trizec. So we'll start with sanding and masking first of all. So you, you can see the if you see the distinction between gloss and this, this fade out. We need the first band uh, on the fade out in here. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to apply over apply over the, the sanded edge because now we've got the full body of the clear. Uh, DA, of course, um, can have a soft face, can be left as is. Uh, it's all to do with preference and, and what we're trying to achieve. So we'll take our 3000 by hand and we can just we can just detail it by hand. Then we're going to finish off with a 5,000. The finer the grit, the higher the gloss recovery, or the easier the gloss recovery. A little bit of water on there. And just around the perimeter of the fine tape, absolutely fine. The next stage is uh, by machine to polish that back. Start off on a low speed and just build into it. You 
can see the gloss recovering immediately. So as you can see, we've got the profile of the original paintwork. We're coming into the, of the, uh, the repair itself. Following the light source, the profile is the same. It's not sanded flat, where it's obviously it's a repair. The edges are nice and glossy, near invisible in a, an MRO environment. So we would call that um, a successful repair. The fresh uh, CMO 85180 um, can be successfully uh, spot repaired uh, using the blend technique. Uh, what we're doing uh, to recover the gloss is we're first sanding with uh, P1500 using water as a lubricant. We sand the spot repair itself into the body of the uh, original clear. That's followed by P3000, again using water as a lubricant. That's sanded over the 1500 to get rid of those 1500 scratches into the original body of the clear. That's followed by uh, using uh, a machine a polishing uh, process using the uh, 3M uh, three-stage process. We're using 100% lamb's wool, uh, relatively low speed. You don't need to uh, really burn through this. And what we're using is stage one, two, and three uh, to recover the gloss. And then we continue that following on final using a foam pad to get the final uh, polish marks out of the film and to make sure it matches the surrounding area. Follow us on our YouTube channel, Sean Williams Aerospace, for all future smart repairs.